Hey, what's up you guys? So I have been missing in action for like a month and I'm really sorry. I graduated from high school. Um, I had a whole bunch of family come over so I was busy with that and I couldn't film. And then literally like two days after I graduated, I went to Virginia for two weeks with my boyfriend to visit my dad and my stepmom. Um, also, if you notice, I have a vlogging camera now. I'm so excited. It is a Sony camera. I don't remember what it's called, but I just got it. It's brand new. It has the little like flippy uppy screen so I can see myself when I film. But this video is just kind of like a little chit chat. Get ready with me. I gotta get ready to go places and look presentable for things. So I'm just gonna tell y'all all about what the rest of my summer is gonna consist of and put on my makeup at the same time. So let's get started here. I'll try to like show y'all what products I'm gonna use. So the first thing I'm gonna use is the Smashbox Photo Ready Finish Foundation Primer on my face. I always get really bad acne when I travel, so that's great. Poop. I'm gonna put avalanche of products to put my hair back with the headband. Um, so yeah, I graduated from high school and I'm now gonna be a freshman at Troy University in Troy, Alabama. So that's really exciting. <sighs> what else? I went to Virginia for two weeks with my boyfriend. Um, we stayed in the Manassas area and we went all over like to Washington DC to Richmond, to Gwynn's Island, Virginia, um, which is near Norfolk, if you've ever been there. We rode roller coasters, caught some fish, toured battlefields with Smithsonian's and stuff. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, I forgot to silence my phone. I just got back yesterday from all that. Um, so I'm still kind of tired and 16 hour car rides are not fun. Oh. Uh, my foundation is the Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free in O2 Alabaster because I'm a pale, pale, pale person. So in, I want to say like a week and two days, I'll be leaving for um, my band camp and I commented on one of my last videos and one of you commented saying you're excited to see the vlogs. I'm a part of the Mississippi Lions All-State Band. Um, a whole bunch of players from all around the state come together and try out in like a two stage tryout process and we get together for a week during the summer, learn like a marching parade routine and then we travel to the uh, Lions International Convention. And last year it was the first year I made it and I uh, we went to Hawaii, Honolulu, Hawaii, so that was super cool. Um, and this year we're going to Japan. So I'm obviously going to be bringing my vlogging camera for that. I'm probably not going to vlog very much of the actual camp because we literally we wake up at 5.45 and we go to bed at like 11.30. And all in between that is just music, 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 marching, music, eating as fast as we can, and then more music and marching. So that's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make at least one vlog with all that content because there's not gonna be really much all that time that I can vlog. I need to wash my brushes, look how gross. So yeah, and then after that week camp, we go to, we're gonna travel to Japan and I'm going to try to vlog every single day and make like a different vlog of each of those days. I'm gonna set my foundation with the Rimmel Stay Matte and Translucent. Oh, so that's exciting. And while, backtrack a little bit, while, while I was in Virginia, I ordered a new flute head joint. I'm going to be doing an unboxing and um, review and all that. It is a Brad Garner Niobium head joint. It was really difficult researching um, which head joint I wanted because there is almost no like information about um, Brad Garner head joints, which is sad because he's a great flute player and a great guy and 
makes awesome head joints. Um, which is also funny. Oh, I'm using the Sephora Los Cabos Matte Number 3 Bronzer. This looks like that. that oh, I'm using the e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush to contour. I'm sorry if like my makeup techniques don't really like are correct or whatever. Um, I just do what I like. I'm not an expert or a makeup artist. I'm a 17 year old girl who doesn't really know what she's doing. So, and I'm also sorry for the really weird lighting. Um, I've just taped pieces of paper to one of the lamps I have in my room and tried to make like a really stupid soft box, but um, it obviously isn't working. So. Oh yeah, and I'm filming in my room for the first time. It's my bed. Um, what else is happening this summer? I am going to Hattiesburg, Mississippi, which is not too terribly far away from me. Oh, I'm using the Chanel blush in uh, O2 Rose, br <laughs> Rose Bronze. Looks like that. I'm going there because they have a sloth experience where you can go and hold a sloth and love on a sloth for like an hour. And I don't remember if I've said this in any of my other videos, but I literally love sloths so much. Like while we were in, while my boyfriend and I were in Virginia, we went to an aquarium. It's the Baltimore National Aquarium, I think is what it's called. And there was a sloth there in like a rainforest exhibit and her name was Ivy and she had a baby on her, her name was Fern. We couldn't see the baby, but Ivy poked her head up and I could see her face. It was the first time I've ever seen a sloth move like in person and I started hysterically crying in front of a whole bunch of people in this aquarium and I was so excited. I love sloths so much and I'm obviously gonna vlog my sloth experience um, cause it's gonna be great. I'm so, literally so excited. Now I'm gonna do my brows with Ulta's Brow Expert in Medium. So yeah, that is on July 7th at 11, I think is when my sloth experience is gonna be. I'm literally, I've never been so excited for like anything in my life. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, what else is going on? Um, uh, nothing else really. Um, I'm so excited for college. Obviously, ooh, my eyebrow looks crazy. And, um, I don't know. I'm just excited to be challenged too because all my high school career, like, band was obnoxiously easy, classes were boring and easy. Um, so Troy is just gonna give me an opportunity. Oh, yeah, I'm using the Great Lash Maybelline Clear Transparent setting stuff. Um, all my brows. Today I think I'm gonna use a mixture of my Naked 3, which has a hair on it, and my Naked, regular old Naked palette, and probably a little bit of my chocolate bar, uh, which was given to me by my food teacher here. Well, first I should probably start with primer. This is the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer, just the regular one. I've used like Urban Decay's, I've used NARS, I've used a whole bunch of other places, like companies, and primers and this one for me is the best so I'm gonna use the thing I hate about the chocolate bar is there's no like names but I'm gonna use this matte brown in the corner as like a starter transition color in my crease so I'm just kind of putting this in my crease all willy-nilly like to make it easier to put other colors in it um, like I said before I am so not a makeup expert I just kind of throw colors places that I think they look good. Yeah. What? Yeah, I'll use Limit first and then Nooner on my outer V to open it up a little bit. So I want to know, like what other videos do you guys want to see from me? Because I'm, I'm really new at this. This is only like my sixth or seventh video on YouTube, um, and I also really want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart, all 137 of you guys, I think, who have subscribed. That's so incredible to me. I've reached 3,000 views on my Dorm Pop Part 1. Uh, I think I've 
finally reached a thousand on my dorm hall part two. That's just like, I expected to get like a hundred subscribers by the end of the summer and I got a hundred subscribers within like a month. And that is just completely and totally amazing to me. And it's so surreal. And I know it's like cheesy to say all this, like every YouTuber says it, but thank you so, so much. I'm gonna take my Naked 2 brush that came with my Naked 2 palette and take Nooner and put it on the outside of my eyeball just to, uh, I don't know, do stuff over there. Oh, wrong color. I say um a lot, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to think of things to say. I usually spout stuff off. Oh, um, let's talk more about what happened in Virginia. So, I, little, little known fact about myself, is I absolutely love roller coasters. Um, roller coasters are probably one of my favorite things in the whole world. And we went, my dad, my boyfriend and I went to King's Dominion, which is a roller coaster amusement park in Virginia. And we went and we rode a whole bunch of rides and it was really great and fun. Uh, we reached the Intimidator 305. It's a roller coaster, it's 305 feet tall, it's highest peak, it goes like 90 something miles an hour. It's crazy fast and crazy extreme and I've ridden it two other times before and I've laughed out both times. I've hated it. It just, I don't like it. I, I like, that's the only thing, like roller coaster I've ever felt a genuine fear on. Like I was actually really scared. Um, but my boyfriend wanted to go on it. My dad wanted to go on it. So I was like, okay, I'll go. Um, I'm gonna use this color with a little bit of this on my lid. Um, so we start going up the incline to go down um, the first hill, which is, 300 feet. We go down, I I black out, I start hysterically crying, like having a full-blown anxiety panic attack. It was absolutely miserable. Um, the ride is like, it's a pretty long ride too, so the whole time I was just like holding on for absolute dear life. I felt like I was gonna fall out. Um, I know I wasn't, but it just feels like that. And when we stopped, I just like crumpled over in my seat, I just started like sobbing. Everyone around me was like, oh my God, is she okay? Um, Landon was like shooken up cause I was crying. He of course loved the roller coaster. He's been on ones bigger than that in like Canada and stuff. Um, so I felt pretty stupid after that. I love all the other roller coasters. That's just a roller coaster that I don't really enjoy. And it's just not, not for me. Actually, I think I'm gonna add, this is Milani's Bella Champagne in Shimmer, number 16. I'm just gonna take some of that on my finger and put it on my lid for some extra sparkle. Uh, this is the Roller Lash by Benefit. Um, try not to make a crazy face. Crazy mascara face. I feel like I look like a crazy person. Ah, uh, I got mascara on my face. Mm. Well, let's talk about what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing my new Kate Spade watch that I got for graduation. I'm wearing, I can't really see it, a Kendra Scott iridescent jersey necklace. Um, and then these are uh, Betsy Johnson. My tank top is just a really old one from Target and then you can't see my shorts, but they're seersucker shorts from Levi uh, that I got like two or three years ago. Mm, shit. <laughs> <sighs> probably going to do a packing series on like what I'm going to pack for the camp, what I'm going to pack for Japan, what I'm going to pack in my overnight bag, what I'm going to pack in my makeup bag, blah 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 blah, if that's interesting to y'all. If y'all want to see that video, comment down below and tell me if you think that's cool or not. I know some of my subscribers are actually band kids, uh, which is awesome. Spread, spread the word about this channel because I'm also a band kid. Um, and I kind of want to make videos for that because it is really hard to find kids who are in marching band on YouTube. Um, where's my lip gloss? I know this video is kind of just like all over the place and random, but I felt like I needed to explain myself and just say what I was doing um, and why I've been a bad YouTuber and I haven't updated anything. Uh, this is Bare Minerals Gloss in God, these are tiny words. Jelly roll. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.